USC students heading back to class Wednesday afternoon, still shocked after hearing one of their own was sexually assaulted early Tuesday morning. As she was walking on Blossom Street, the victim says a black man wearing all black raped her and took her wallet and phone. The incident has students on edge. It has also made me think twice about living on campus. Um, I was going to live here next year, but I don't think I am now. Others like sophomore Riley Kilbright say campus police do the best they can, but can't patrol every area around the clock. I think it's overall good, but I mean, there's only so much they can do. I mean, one o'clock in the morning, like uh, it's kind of tough to cover all angles. I think there's a lot of precautions that they do have, but maybe not all used to full advantage. Students say they're upset they weren't notified of the rape case until late Tuesday afternoon. University spokesman Wes Hickman says the victim did not call campus police until then, and the information released had to be correct before being sent. The timing of a notification is really, it's a balance between timeliness and getting information out quickly, but also accurate information. Hickman says the university has several resources to keep students safe. We have a couple hundred call boxes uh, around campus. We also offer a shuttle service. Um, student government offers a taxi service on the weekends. The Carolina alert system is one way that we communicate. We actually just recently added six officers to our police force and we're looking at hiring some more. Hickman adds students also need to be aware of their surroundings. Take a vehicle as much as possible, walk in groups and in well-lit areas. He says talking on a cell phone can also help because you can immediately ask for help talking on a cell phone. Columbia is a pretty good area all around, but no, nah, I wouldn't do anything out in past dark without like a cell phone or talking to somebody when you're out. Steps students hope will keep them safe. In Columbia, Zoheb Hasnali, Watch Fox News.